وہ ہاضا کتاب انزل نا ہو مبارک مصدق مصدق الزی بین یدیہ ولی تنزرا ام القرا و من ہا And now this is the book that we have sent down. Bahada Mubarakun, after Torah, this is the book. Actually, the book, Al-Kitab, is only Torah and Quran. Because in Zabur, there is no law. It's only Psalms. Hamd. Songs of, hymns of Hamd, Psalms. In Injil, it is only Hikmah. No law. Because Hazrat Masih said, this law of Moses will remain applicable to you also. Don't think I have come to destroy law. So the law was law of Moses and after that law of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shara'i, they are two only. Wahab hadha kitabun anzallahu mubarak. And after that book of law, now this book has been sent down. Mubarakun. What is Mubarak? Baraka means, you know, to bring out something which is inherent, some good, inherent in something, but it needs some stimulation. Maam Mubaraka, rain, it comes down on the earth. All the things in, are there in the earth. The seeds are lying there. All the vegetation potentiality is in the earth, not in the water. Water only initiates the process. So it brings out the treasures that are already hidden in the earth. In the same way, there is a treasure hidden in us. That is our soul, our spirit. So now, but this is lying dormant. Quran comes and activates it, brings it out. So Quran, Hada Kitabu Mubarakun, just as Ma'am Mubaraka, the water of rain falling on the land, on the earth, bringing out its treasures, its vegetation. In the same way, this Quran. It, it permeates into your souls, activates it, and brings out the good that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already put in it, potential. وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ مُنزَلْ لَهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لَذِي بَنَا يَدَيْهِ And this confirms that which was present before it. It confirms, as we have read in Suratul Maida, إِنَّا أَنزَلَ تَوْرَاهِ فِيهَا هُدَمْ وَنُورِ Again in Jeel, فِيهَا هُدَمْ وَنُورِ so Allah doesn't say that Torah is not, was not given to Moses or, or the Bani Israel for that matter. Injil was nothing, never given to, to, to Jesus alayhi salatu was salam. No, these were the books Allah sent down. وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْ لَهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لَذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَلِتُنْزِرَ أُمَّ الْقُرَى وَمَنْ حَوْلَهَا Very important. Umm al-Qura, the mother of the towns. Qariya is a town, a township. And Qura is the plural. Umm al-Qura, the mother. Now what is, what does it mean? In every country there is some central city controlling the whole of the country. That becomes the Umm al-Qura for that particular land, for that particular country. The Umm al-Qura in Arabia was Mecca. It was dominant, controlling the religious activity. The, the, so to say, the political activity, the economic activity was all being controlled by Makkah. So, Umm al Qura. But now, this Umm al Qura has Man Hawlaha and whosoever surrounds it. Now, this you know, it can go to surround immediate surroundings, a few hundred miles around the, the city of Makkah. If you go, a circle is more wider, a thousand miles long circle, then you know. Maybe the whole of the world can be included. Ma hawlaha. Whole of the earth can be included in it. But to begin with, the Prophet ﷺ was only warning and conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to people of Makkah. Then you know, the surrounding people, the tribes which were living in the vicinity of Makkah. And then it was, you know, extending and progressing forward and forward. So these words can include everything. Ma man hawlaha. Because, you know, any point on the earth can be said to be the center of the earth. Because it's something round. Any place is center of the earth. So actually, this is a very good explanation. So that you warn the people who are dwelling in that mother of the towns in the Arabian Peninsula, also people who are dwelling around it. 
ولزین یو منونا بل آخرت یو منونا بھی دٹ از ویری امپارٹنٹ قرآن ٹیلز دیٹ دی موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ایمان از دی ایمان بل آخرت who so ever has some idea of resurrection that i will have to return to my lord he will listen to you attentively he will have some initial taqwa in his in his heart and mind and soul and then if you know the dawa of the prophet comes before him he will accept it so the words are wal ladina yu'minuna bil akhirati yu'minuna bihi those who have some idea of akhira will believe in this book quran although you know they didn't know the prophethood all the people of bakka because this institution was known to the bani israel to the jews they knew they were the people of the book they believed in so many prophets but in the second you know the, the line of progeny of ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam from ismail After Ismail, there was no prophet till Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Very big gap. So they were now not familiar with what a prophet is and what is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa taala. But if they had any idea of akhira, then they will listen to it and they will believe in it. Well, Lazina, you minuna bil akhira te, you minuna bihi. Wahum ala salatihim yuhafizun, and they protect and they keep a watch over their salah. You know, this salah also continued among the progeny of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. They were circle, uh, ambulating around the Kaaba. They were doing tawaf. They were doing hajj. Although they had added something wrong to these things. And they had changed the conditions. Bidaat, innovations. Now, it's in this ummah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected this ummah. And he has been sending mujaddedeen. who renewed the original deen all the original forms and you know all these bid'at innovations they were cleared off after every 100 years in every century people have been coming otherwise you know the innovations and the the bid'at they might have reached to a such a level that the real the, edu- the real deen would have gone absolutely out of sight and the same had happened there we come to know that some uh, african countries they celebrate you know the day of the birth of the prophet with music in the mosques they are having music and they are celebrating the birth of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam birthday of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but actually because this is the last ummah ana akhirul rusul wa antum akhirul umam the prophet said i am the last messenger and you are the last community last ummah so it had to be preserved otherwise you know things would have taken you know a very different form and shape and that happened to the people of ibrahim these were the progeny of ibrahim living at makkah and around it but you, they believed in ibrahim and they said they they were very proud of him that we are we are the progeny of ibrahim but they had changed you know the deen of ibrahim absolutely but still you know some of the relics were there wa hum ala salatihim yuhafizun so whosoever is mindful of allah that allah is there whosoever has any idea of resurrection of akhira he will definitely believe in quran so this is the meaning of the ayah wa hadha kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun musaddiqul ladhi bayna yadayhi wa litunzira umma alqura wa man hawlaha wal ladhina yu'minuna bil akhirati yu'minuna bihi wa hum ala salatihim yuhafizun and it can also mean that whosoever believes in this quran he will be very much watchful about his prayers he will keep his prayers established